Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Diana. If you're new here, can you be Diana? If you're not, thank you for coming back again and hit that subscribe button if you haven't. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I install temporary locks. Uh, this tile lasts from uh, between 9 months to 14 months and with uh, several touches here and there depending on how messy or how neat you want the hair to look. Um, this is a protective style and protective style especially really lies a lot on how the style is installed. If it's installed too tight so that it pulls your hair then it ceases to be a protective style. So I'm going to be showing you so please subscribe if you haven't and let's watch the video. I'm going to be showing you how I install every part of the hair from the nape to the crown. So enjoy. This hairstyle, you're gonna need uh, the temporary locks. These are handmade, and you're gonna need your crochet pin and some mali hair or kinky hair because basically that's what you're gonna use to wrap the hair. And I've already um, already folded the hair and wrapped it against itself, and I'm just going on top with now the synthetic hair that is mali or kinky hair. I don't know what you're using just make sure that the color blends with the hair however if you desire a different look um, maybe an ombre look now the wrapping uh, at the root is gonna have to use like a different color for example if you're using some maybe brown locks and you want the root to be black you can wrap with black hair so i'm just wrapping until the hair disappears about money or kinky hair is that once it's already disappeared that it's not gonna wrap them compared to normal braids so i'm gonna show you with the next hair that's um, the front part and as you can see the hair there is a bit tiny so and the hair is also a bit short so i'm gonna be taking my um, synthetic my temporary lock and I insert it against the loop and I'm gonna fo fold it like that just wrap the hair I hope I'm making sense focus focus camera focus mm, okay and I'm gonna take my hair and wrap now the thing about wrapping is that make sure you don't wrap beneath uh, on the root too tight because when you wrap it too tight it's, the style is gonna be really tight and in some cases you might end up pulling the hair from the follicles and you can always tell if you've done that if now you get those white bumpy stuff the white thing you're seeing there is wax I prefer using wax because of I need the, all the hair at the root to lay down and no in case you're asking if will the wax make the hair long no it will not so that is how it looks. As you can see, the style is not too tight because tightness is not really what we're looking for. This is a protective style. Whether it's protective or not, I mean, tightness is not a solution. So I'm going to be showing you how I do at the back. Um, because when, especially the areas where the hair is probably a bit thin and short, I pull through till the base like I pull the hair till the base and I'm gonna that's gonna come out clearly after I show you how I do in the middle part so I've pulled the hair till the base and now I'm wrapping the hair on top of the lock so the hair is over and now I take my hair that I'm gonna wrap and I just wrap make sure it's not too tight as the base because you also want styling to be really easy you're not planning on making the client not to sleep you want them to really enjoy the style of so I'm wrapping and as you can see how I'm wrapping I don't know if you can see the effect and there's some distress effect I'm not wrapping them so close to one another like I'm skipping I want the bumps why I want that is because the hair is also a bit bumpy so I want it to look really natural I don't want that um, you know like the four locks look where at the base is so neat and you can say like you know it's been wrapped over I don't want that so I'm gonna show you just how in a few minutes so we can see the difference. So that's how I do. 
the latest areas please subscribe if you haven't make sure you subscribe hit that subscribe button so that every time i upload such videos you are informed so make sure you subscribe so this is the front area so i'm just crocheting the hair and i am not inserting the hair in the, the same direction so you keep changing the directions So I'm going to do several so that you get the whole gist of this thing. So part section. Parting depends on how you really want it. You can decide, for example, for me in this case, I was doing the uh, box brick-ish look. I wanted them to be so neat such that they look like box braids. You can also do the random one where you just, you know, cut the hair. But I wanted structure because of styling. So insert and pull through. like that so as you can see this one i'm not pulling a lot because i don't want also the base to be tight you, we are not trying this is really like a painless style so don't make, make sure it's not too tight so i'm applying my wax for neatness just make sure the hair lay very well and you know it's not going to work and then i twist the hair and now i start pulling through you latch the hair and then pull through different directions Make sure you ask the client if they are feeling any sort of pain, so that when it's too tight, you you can um, loosen it. Because remember, we are still going to wrap again, so with also we don't want double tension. So just wrap wrap until the hair is over and don't worry as i said it will not unravel because really the, the whole point is the hair will tangle against itself so that is how it looks i hope you're getting the effect of seeing as you can see the, the flow is very seamless so i've inserted the hair and now i pull through and i start wrapping as you can see, this one I didn't pull till the base. And I wrap the hair. Now make sure the hair that you're using to wrap is really small, not too tiny, and also not too thick because we also we're also considering the time when you'll be unraveling. We don't want a really hard job. As you can see, this one I've gone in with two twice. I've wrapped the hair twice. And that's because I didn't feel like as though the first one was secure enough. So this is the second, this middle section. Here, the, the hair, from my experience, I think I've noticed the hair tends to be really thicker. And sometimes here can be a bit challenging, especially if the hair is not stretched. Because when the hair is still kinky and coily, it tends to appear really thick. It feels thicker, so sometimes you might find the base ends up looking very thick and the lock is quite thin, so that's not what we want. So in such a case, I would still go on adding the braid. For example, in this case, I added the braid so that I get that um, thickness, so that there's no drastic transition from a very chunky, um, mild, lock to a thin one so i'm continuing 
to add as you can see you can also see the difference is a bit different so i want to fill in that space after this the change is not very obvious and i continue wrapping As you can see the partitioning is very precise and because I, I am considering that this client will be styling their hair so we want it to be really easy and this is the final look yeah by the time we were done it was a bit late but this is how it looks I mean she can style wherever she wants this style is good especially if you work out because you can always wash it every day if you feel comfortable doing it and you can condition, you know, just let your hair relax and grow beneath the lock. So this is a really nice protector. So tell me what you think about it. And, you know, if you have any questions, don't forget to ask on the comment section. I'll be very glad to answer them. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying through out the video. And God bless you. Be sure to follow me on my Instagram at Norinas and to contact me for my services in case you are in need of hairstyling, just DM me on my Instagram.